Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your hosts, Kirby Kidd. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about Indestructible Hulk 3. Yeah, the second strongest one there is. The strongest one there is. Who I'll is? be editing out all of this because <laughs> I have that power. But well, uh, it's more Banner just doing what he wants to do and really no one being able to stop him. I mean, and right now Banner's a pimp. Yeah. I mean, he really is. He's basically just walking around saying, look, this is how the world's going to be because <laughs> I'm me. Right. And everyone's just kind of falling in. I mean, I'm jumping way to the end here. Mm. Maria Hill tries her best to tell him, no, I've got a rule. And he hulks out and smashes her rule. Yeah, so he gets a little robot thing. It's a, what, is it? what is it? It's called Rob. Yeah, it's called Rob. It's like something. And like, like Rob's like, hello. The next panel, Hulk's fist like breaks it. <laughs> and it's like, next time, Rob 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, like, that was funny. Yeah, I, that, I, that, that was pretty hilarious. But uh, Indestructible Hulk has been, a, has been a good time. It's been good. It's I been mean, good and, and the thing I like about it the most is that it makes sense. You know, like, why are you always running from S.H.I.E.L.D.? Shield? Why are you chasing him? Work together. Yeah. You want the same things. See, that that's one of those things that never made sense to me anyway. Basically, the military has been shooting at the Hulk. The Hulk fights back. And then now the entire world turned against him. Okay, that never made sense to me to begin with. Leave him alone. You know, you're right. the smartest man on the planet who will, you know, could do pretty much anything if you just left him alone. And he's also a big green, you know, engine of destruction, which <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it is pretty cool. <laughs> like, uh, and I actually, okay, sidebar. I like Tony Stark better in the movies than I do, in, you know, in the comic books because Tony Stark in the movies was like, you need to, you need to let go. Here, let me poke you with a pin and see if I can get the Hulk out. <laughs> exactly. But uh, they they've started to revive his character at least for me because I, I like him more now. I mean, he's mentioned the whole sending you to space thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he, he let Hulk smack him around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and uh, well, let Hulk was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> but but uh, you know, I, I like the storyline. He he he's getting uh he got four new uh, sciencey people yeah. to uh, be in his lab, and um one was in jail because I guess she worked with Hydra. The other three are just like, yeah, uh, he's the smartest man on the planet. I'll take the risk. <laughs> yeah, and the, apparently and, the pay, and is, really the pay is really good. Yeah. yeah. So he's got. You got to get hazard pay out of that. You yeah, know that's right. I mean, it, you, you really. You, I mean, you really have to. Because there's this point where where she's discussing it with the with the first guy, and he's like, "What's the Hulk holding?" He goes, "She's like a scroll," and he goes, "What's he standing?" He's like, "The other half of the scroll." <laughs> yeah. Like, well, what else would it be? <laughs> but yeah, uh, he so he's got like a that 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 one like guy who looks like he's probably like a Tony Stark light. Uh, he's got the Alabama good old boy. Uh huh. Got the hot chick in prison, and then the other hot chick who's crazy. She's like, yeah, it's all right, and the pay is good. Like, really? That's what you're worried about? The pay? <laughs> Dude, smartest man on the planet. That's true. True, smartest man. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> like honestly, if if you're going to be a scientist, you can't get a better job, except for maybe working for Tony Stark, but not because he's better at it, just he because you get more. a whole lot more money. Yeah. So I mean, I like it. And then he fights the Quintronic Command thing. Yeah. Well, he crushes it basically. Well, yeah. See, here's the entire fight. It goes, smash you into lava. And Hulk's like, yeah, no, kill. <laughs> and then that's the end of the fight. <laughs> well, he did get a couple of blisters, though. Yeah, well, you know what? If you want to see the whole fight for yourself, below in our new template background thingy that I created, uh, you should be seeing the codes for Indestructible Hulk. There may be one, maybe two. It all depends on what happens by the time I edit this. <laughs> um, and, of course, we'll have other, you know, random Marvel codes that I picked up yesterday at, the, at Enjoy. Remember... Uh, when they Marvel asks you at marvel.com slash redeem where you got it from, put Maholtra LLC in California. It's really important. They sponsor the show. You should probably put that across the bottom. It will also it's now across be, the bottom. It's yeah, it's there also, and also will be in the, in the description as normal. Uh, so yeah, please support them because they support us, which supports you. The and circle you of comic life. Books. <laughs> it's the entire circle of comic book life. <laughs> um, but I I like where it's going though. I I, I liked Rob. I was sad to see him go so early. Like he literally had two panels. <laughs> Rob basically dead. looks like looks like a little blue Herbie. Yeah, I mean, he, and, and he was so nice. He's like, "Hi, oh, no." <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope Rob 2.0 remembers <laughs> what happened. He's like, "Dude, <laughs> what the heck?" <laughs> oh, but yeah, but the, the the whole thing, the indestructible Hulk is a really good book. Mark Wade, well done, yeah. sir. Yeah, well done. I I, I I'm enjoying this. Actually, the whole the whole Spider Man thing, you know, is, uh, mm. 
But on this though, this is this is exactly what we wanted. I wish I had a hat so I could put it on and then take it off to you. <laughs> when we see you again, and we will, we'll tip our hats. Yes. <laughs> we're wearing we're gonna wear offshoot comics hats just for that. Yeah. And maybe and bring it off. And yeah. we'll bring you one. Of course we will, because you're Mark Wade. <laughs> but yeah, Hulk going really well. And there's no more self pity. There's no more, hey, let's fire at the Hulk. And now he's actually doing something for the world. And he's cocky. Yeah. Well, I, I, I like you, 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 why wouldn't you be? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it'd be like having a humble Superman. Why? <laughs> well, Superman is humble. No, he's not. He's really not. N- not, not, not. Not this new one. He's like, uh, I'm not me. <laughs> what do you do about it? <laughs> like, I will admit, the only time I ever thought he was cool was at, at the at the beginning of um, the New 52, when Greenland was like, oh, I'll handle this alien. And he, he, like, he like threw him out of the building. Like, yeah, I don't handle easy. I was like, okay, I may like you. And then he became regular Superman. <laughs> well, he's still Superman. Superman's the best there is. He is not the best there is. The best Nor there is, is he the strongest there is. The best there is in what he does and the strongest there Wait, is. Wait, okay, so now you're going to diss Wolverine too? <laughs> Wolverine is the best, he, the best there is in what he does. And no one else is better than them. Except for actually, there's actually a lot of people better than them. Yeah, there really there's are. a lot of people better I mean, than you know, like, we're about to see Spider-Man <laughs> kick the crap out of Wolverine. Which, Which has never happened before. No, it's happened before. No, no, no. They've <clears> fought before. But apparently, looking at the panels, he's going to get the crap kicked out of Well, him. there was one time where Spider-Man, like, and him, were ha- they had a little argument. And he just didn't feel like dealing with it. So, he used the webs and put Wolverine's hands right here on his head. And left them suspended a few hundred feet in the air. And said, yeah, I, I don't have time to deal with this. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. I hate this kid so much. Because your only way out is now through your head. And I believe that would kill Wolverine, wouldn't it? No. Six claws through his brain? No, it wouldn't kill him. It wouldn't kill him? No. Because he put a claw through, through his saber to his brain. And it lobotomized him for about eh, six issues. Then saber tooth broke out. So about Almost minutes. killed Jean Grey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Almost killed Jean Grey. Yeah. This is a while ago. Is this before pre-Phoenix? Yeah. This is... Well, no, it's not pre-Phoenix. Okay, do you know how many times the Phoenix has come back? A I mean, kajillion. seriously. A kajillion. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> Every it, it, was, it was in between Phoenixes. I mean, it's probably like, so much... Like, last week was she was a Phoenix. This week, she's Jean Grey. <laughs> and she almost got killed by Cyber Tooth. And the next week, she was Phoenix again. That's that's basically how it worked out. I wonder if people in New York are like, oh, the Phoenix is back. Oh, yeah. the scrolls are back. Oh, okay. Oh, another alien invasion. All right, guys, go to the shelter. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, they're probably like, oh, there's the Hulk. Uh, just, just move. Yeah, just Fine. move the way. <laughs> like, like you know, like you know, like pigeons. Right. Where, where you know, you think they should run yeah. away, but they're just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but so that's how we feel about you know, Intractable Hulk three. Uh, yeah, we went a little off topic. Yeah, we did because you know it's the name of the show. But Indestructible is going really well right now, uh, and we're gonna talk more about it. On our show on Krypton Radio, Thursdays at 7 o'clock. Yeah, follow us there. Yep. And uh, follow us at everything. Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, the Twitter. Tell your friends. We have a Tumblr now. We have a Tumblr now. Yeah. We don't really understand the Tumblr. But, yeah, uh, we also have Instagram, which is... we have That just happened. We don't know how that happened. Like, we had an email one day, like, you have Instagram. We're like, were we assigned one? We know how it happened. <laughs> we do. What, Google? No, my daughter. Oh, okay, yes. So we have Instagram. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. that I feel much better about the world now. I thought we were just being assigned to Instagram. But uh, we're still off topic. But, uh, but yeah, follow us all these places below. You should see, you know, everything's just offshoot comics. We have DeviantArt, you know, all this stuff. If you're an artist or a writer, email us. Yeah, if you're not an artist or a writer, email, email us. us. Yeah. We just want your emails. Yeah. We promise we'll answer them. No matter what they are. And we've got like five books coming out at WonderCon. Uh, yeah. To my this direction. You see our character Raze. Uh, obviously a comic character that we're doing. Uh, he'll be coming out at WonderCon. And uh, look how cool he looks. He, he has fire. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone with fire is automatically cool. I'm, clearly. Clearly. I mean like I hate the Fantastic Four but Johnny Storm is cool. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but until next time we've been your hosts Kirby Kid And Black Superman. See you next time guys.